Hey everyone, Liam here, welcome to this match preview and prediction for the match between Holger Ruin and Felix Ogial Yassim in the first round of the China Open. Let's get into it. We've got very exciting matchups between two young players obviously here at the China Open in the indoor hardcore conditions and I'm excited for this one just because it's more of a benchmarking for me to see where each player is at in terms of their form, in terms of their physical fitness and in terms of their, just their ability to manage difficult times throughout their careers. Obviously, if we're looking at the difficult times throughout the careers, let's first start up with Felix Ogier Yassim. I mean, he's just had a terrible season this year. It's just been injury, bad form, injury, bad form. A mixing of the both hasn't really helped him at all. It also seems that he isn't as consistent as he was last year in terms of just being a little bit more patient. This year, he seems to be a lot more, you know, going for winners and hitting a lot more on Fosteros out of those trying to go for winners, which isn't really a good sign for him. And his game is heavily reliant on that serve plus one. And when the first serve percentage isn't going in, he's getting dominated on the second serve by his opponents. So that's definitely something that he needs to sort out quickly and he needs to make sure that it doesn't happen next season if he wants to sort of give it a clean state from the start from next year. Hulk Roon, on the other hand, you know, he has had the form. He's shown that he's had the form. The only issue for him has been injuries. His back has been killing him. His mother's always, has, has said quite recently that his back still hurts. Every time he serves, it hurts. And that's just really a worry for me. You know, it seems like something that I think if it wasn't for the mandatory tournaments, if it wasn't for the fact that you know, he just wants to play tennis. He should probably take a f fair amount of time off and sort of recover from it. And he did do that, you know, following the uh, following the US Open, he withdrew from the Labour Cup. And, you know, I'm hoping that his back is now somewhat healed, if not fully healed, and he can get himself back into contention in these big tournaments. Obviously, last year they met and the head-to-head -head is one-to-one. -one. Both times they met in indoor hardcore conditions. First time was in Basel where Felix won that one in the final, I believe. And then in the second match that they met last year was actually in Paris where Holger Rune won that one in straight sets. So it's quite even here and both of them having won against each other in indoor hardcore conditions shows that this match should be a very tight one. I think that Holger Rune should have the edge in terms of ability on any given day. But in these current circumstances, I'm not too sure just because... He hasn't played much tennis. Felix has played tennis. He seems to be a little bit in form, having played quite well at the Labour Cup. Um, even though he only played one singles match, he did play a lot of doubles and he showed some good form there. So I think he's got more tennis under his belt than Holger Rune does. Holger Rune, though, I think is just a better player overall than Felix Ogelia seem. So I think it should be a tight one here. I think if I'm going to go off of who I think has the current form and a little bit more practice under their belt, I'm going to have to go for Felix. But I think Holger Rune, if he is physically fit, should get a set under his belt. So I think Holger Rune manages to get a set, but Felix Ogier team gets himself into the second round in three sets.